Okay. Uh, today we discuss about the Apache two. So yesterday uh, we we discussed about this group. So if we have the data in RDMS, how we can uh, load into HDFS or Hive? So yesterday we discussed about that one. So Plume also uh, uh, for loading the data into HDFS, but it, 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 uh, it, it, this purpose is different. Plume purpose is different. So Plume, uh, if you have the if your uh, data is generating from the different sources uh, like web web server or any Java messaging queue or like like that. If if any different sources data is generating, if you want to uh, collect and aggregate the data, and if you want to load into HDFS or HBase or any uh, uh, storage if you want to uh, store so then we will use the flu so the main uh, Apache flume is distributed and reliable and available system used for collecting and aggregating large amount of data from various sources to a centralized data store so main purpose of Flume is uh, we will use the Flume for the collecting the streaming data. Streaming data means we will uh, data is data will be generated from the some source maybe Twitter or any web server log any source it will be data is continuously generating so if you want to get uh, if you want to load that continuous or streaming data to HDFS we will use the Flume. So what are the components in the Flume we discuss so this is the main purpose of the flu, used for collecting and aggregating the large amount of data from various sources. Sources is nothing but a web server or any Twitter source or any Q, Java Q message or any log messages. So if you have any application, for that we will have the uh, logs. So continuously it will generate the logs. So if you want to collect that one, so we can use the flu. And also, if you take the Twitter, so uh, in Twitter, we uh, continuously tweets will come. So, if you want to collect that continuous uh, tweets, and if you want to analyze anything, so first we need to load the that streaming data. So, for that also, we will use Flume. So, how Flume is used? So, this is we have the different uh, things. So, from that, we we will create the agents. So flu flu major. So from that we'll collect the data and we'll push it to HLS. We will see what is this flu major in the so application server and flu major for collecting the logs and storing into HLS. We'll see clearly that one. So in proof technology event uh, is nothing but a single unit of data flow. So we will consider say one record or one log. So example single record of a web log. So we will call it as an event. So what is a plume agent? Plume agent is a process that holds components through which event flows from external world to the next destination. So plume, uh, what is plume agent? So it will run the full process of the uh, plume. So collecting the uh, data and uh, storing into any uh, destination like uh, HDFS or HBase. So if you want to store, so full process we will consider the flu major. So this process, full uh, whatever the operations we want to do in flu, so we will configure and we will run it. So that process we will call it as a flu major. So I will, I will tell uh, what are the components uh, will be there in the flu major. So a single plume agent consists of the three components. One is the source, channel, sync. So source means so we need to in source we need to define how we need to uh, read the data from the source. So suppose if it is a web, web server or suppose if it is a I want to uh, read the logs from the some folder. Uh, some whatever the logs are storing, so that logs I want to read. So how we need to read? So those configuration 
will do in the source component. Consume the events delivered by the external source. So whatever the event generating from the sources, it will uh, the source component will collect the data. So coming to channel, channel is a uh, it will provide the temporary storage or intermediate thing. So passive store means it will store the uh, still writing the data to the sync uh, next destination. So it will keep the uh, data. So uh, I will show clearly uh, this channel. What are the channels? Positive store when the events are pushed. So keep the events till it is consumed by the thing. So uh, until uh, data is stored into uh, destination or sync so the data will be in the channel so I will, I will show clearly next slide so sync is nothing but here pull the event from the channel and deliver it to the next destination so sync is nothing but like writing the data to the HDFS so that, that we will call it as sync so how will it write the uh, destination that those uh, settings we will do in the sync so main flume uh, ends up these components. So source, channel and sync. So this is the flow, simple data flow model. So source will collect the whatever the server or whatever the uh, where the uh, data is generating. So from that uh, source will read the, we need to configure the, uh, how we need to read the data from the different web server or any Twitter. So source we need to configure. So one source uh, reads the data from the web server. So then it will be temporarily it will store into channel. So channel may be memory or, or, or basically we use the memory. So whatever the data is temporarily it will store into memory. Or if we can store into any JDB any file or any JDBC connection by database also uh, we can store it. Any persistent storage. Uh, also we can store it. Mostly channel we use as a memory. So here uh, we will set the uh, how much data uh, suppose collecting for every 5 minutes we will uh, we will write to sync then uh, sync what will do means sync it will write to the whatever the we are, uh, destination we are uh, specifying it will be write to the HDFS. So like that this flow will be there source channel and sync so channel we will configure for every 5 minutes we need to write or after reaching the some amount of logs so we need to size or the uh, some uh, records count or size or the time period so based on that one we will write the data to the sync so here if you observe the flow so whatever the data we are coming so that streaming or continuous data we can load into HDFS so this is the flow so all these things we will configure as a agent. So where we will configure the source, channel and thing and agent will be there, I will tell you. A similar way we can configure multiple agents also we can configure. So output of one agent we can pass to the another agent also we can do it. So for that we will have the different sources uh, like Avro, like uh, uh, we will have the different sources I will tell you uh, what are the different sources uh, channel and so we will discuss next slide. So, so events can travel through multiple agents before reaching the final destination. So we can uh, one agent output uh, we can pass to the other agent like that we can uh, multiple agents also we can configure so same way uh, we can multiplexing the flow means. so we can maintain multiple channels we can maintain multiple syncs also we can write the data to the HDFS, JMS so we can write the uh, one agent uh, sync output to the another agent also we can write like this we can configure multiple channels and multiple syncs also we can configure so 
So how we can uh, it will handle the failovers also. Agent will fail the event is delivered to the another agent. So we need to uh, we need to provide the making sure of the event has been delivered properly to the destination. So it is transaction approved to guarantee the reliable. So Plume will uh, provide this reliability. Events are removed from the channel only after the, they are stored in the channel of the next station that terminal deposit. Plume will uh, provide the reliability. So events will be removed whatever the data will store in channel. So it will uh, only after events are removed only uh, storing the from next agent at the terminal deposit. Then only it will be uh, removed the uh, data from the channel. So this is how we can achieve the label. Recoverability also, recovering the events in case of plume agent failure. So making, so we, uh, plume, uh, we need to uh, recoverability also. So we can, uh, instead of, give, uh, instead of, suppose if the uh, plume agent failure, so if you are facing any plume agent failure kind of issues, if you configure a plume also support the file channel which is backend by the file channel. So if you uh, instead of memory, if you configure it as a file channel, so then we can uh, recoverability also we can. So uh, instead of memory, if you configure channel as a file channel, so if, if the flume um, agent fail you, then also we can recover the data. So what, suppose if, we, if it is failing, mostly if the uh, Flume agent are failing continuously, then if you configure the Flume agent as a file channel, then we can uh, recover the data, whatever, uh, uh, whatever the data is in file channel, we can recover that. So setting up the Flume agent, if you want to set up the, uh, Plume agent and uh, how we can run the Plume agent, I will tell you. So in source, what we need to configure in source, type of source, address and port and channel. So these things we need to specify. So what, what is the type of source? We have the different source. So we have the EXEC means uh, one source and we have the uh, telnet and we have the this log, we have the HTTP source and the Avro source, script source. We have the different source. I will show you what are the different source and we'll practice the uh, one, one, one source uh, and also we have the Twitter source also. I will, uh, I will tell you next uh, while discussing about the Twitter example, I will tell that source also. Okay, uh, anyway, we will see different sources. What are the source, sources are there? Sync, uh, type of the sync, address and ports and channel. Uh, where need to, uh, what is the type of the sync? So either it will be HDFS sync, either it will be HBA sync, or uh, we need to provide the, uh, what is the address and port number of the, that particular sync, and we need to provide the channel. So next thing is channel, type of the channel and other properties. So between the source and sync, so source needs to be configured, oh, we need to point to the channel and the sync also we need to point to channel. So channel we need to define the type of the channel with either, uh, either it will be memory or file or maybe any other persistent storage like database. Uh, we need to uh, configure that one. Another properties means, so when we need to write the channel data to the sync after certain time limit or uh, after reaching some uh, size file, uh, size or after reaching some event counts so <coughs> we need to configure the channel
so this is the one example uh, how how we can uh, write the data to some port like uh, this this uh, port number 54 and uh, channel that buffer the event data in memory so we need to configure channel so we need to store the temporary purpose and then we need to sync that log the event data to the console so this is the one example how we can uh, read the data from the, some particular port and how we can uh, display to the console so this is the how to, how uh, sample plume agent configuration So these are the uh, source, channel and sync. So first we need to configure what is the sample sources. So source name is that cat source. So this is we can give any name. So that cat source we can give any name. So whatever name we are uh, specifying here, we need to configure as a sources. Like channel also we can give the name. And sync also we can give the longer sync. <coughs> so uh, we need to specify the what is the source and channel sync names here we need to uh, specify then coming to source part so here we have the different uh, uh, we need to parameters we need to set so these uh, properties uh, will what is the type what is the bind is nothing but what is the uh, host name and what is the port and uh, where we need to uh, what is the channel we need to specify the channel for this source so first we need to specify the what is the source type here the source type is netcat so by using this one we can listen whatever we are typing in this port and we can receive at the uh, destination so like uh, netcat source dot bind so here we need to specify the uh, what is the IP name. So our host name. Uh, here we will give the. Uh, here we are specifying the local host and port number. Here we are specifying as a five four. So then whatever the output we are receiving from this source, so we will um, the temporal will store into this memory channel. So here I am specifying the channel as a this memory. Finally, whatever the output uh, is there, I am writing to logger. Logger is nothing but I am going to, instead of storing uh, any other place, just I am uh, going to print in the console. So whatever the data is getting, so we will print into uh, the uh, console, logger console will print the output. So this is the uh, channel from where, uh, which channel we need to point, we need to just the channel. So go through this one, here we will get the more uh, details. Each point, what uh, about the each property will give you clear information about the each property. So similar way we have the one more source called EXEEC. So we will we'll practice this one. So how we can uh, do this one, we will see that one. So by using this source, so uh, we can we can uh, get the data from the any Unix commands like tail cat. So whatever the output from the particular file, so we can uh, we can read it and we can store into HDFS. So we'll see uh, we will run this example how we can do it. So by using this source, what will do means so whatever the uh, commands, uh, Unix commands is generating the output, so that uh, output we can read it. Suppose if we, are, uh, suppose if we take the, uh, we will try to read the whatever the log files we are getting in Hadoop. So we will read that Hadoop uh, uh, files and we will try to store in HDFS. We will uh, practice that example. So, so exe source expect the data to continuously produce on the standard output and then uh, this process exists for some reason so the source will also exist produces no further data
so this is one example uh, how we can uh, exec source how we can read the data from the uh, unix uh, unix and how we can read to hdfs this is one example uh, I, I will show that one so we'll see how we can uh, configure the from a source and channel and sync and how we can do it. We'll see that. Like sources, we have the different channel, memory channel, and JDBC channel, and file channel also there. So uh, I will show uh, more details about uh, these things. First, we'll go through an example, uh, the uh, EXEC example. Then uh, I will tell what are the uh, different available sources, channel, and sync. I will give more detail, uh, details about uh, those things, those details. Okay, in our training, uh, we have the Plume, if you want to practice, we have the Plume, we install the Plume in the, this path, Home, Training, and Plume, uh, this is the path. So previously, I think most of the, all the directories, it is in the user local. Uh, user local, we have the Hadoop and every uh, high pick and everything, we install that folder. So this Plume is in the Home, Training. So if you go inside, We'll have the like bin, conf and everything folders will be there. So if you want to start any agent, we need to uh, execute this one, plume-ng. And we have the one command to start the agent. I will, I will show that command. Okay, uh, before going to that one, how we can uh, configure the that plume agent, I will tell you. So if we go to the, uh, we have the plume in the this folder so we'll go inside of the config so we will have the different folder so we'll go through conf so here conf only conf only we need to configure that uh, plume agent here we need to do I will show on sample properties so this is how we can do this one netcat source memory channel in the this one So whatever uh, we can, if you push any data to this port, so that data, it will be read from the, this netcat. So here the type is netcat and uh, local host. And so whatever the thing, so we are just simply, uh, we will execute it uh, to the, so if you start executing this agent, so if you type, uh, if you, uh, send any messages or any data to this port so simply it will be dis displayed to the logger so here we given the uh, logger sync as a logger so that's why it will be uh, whatever the data will be uh, sent to this port so it, it will be display as a simply console it will display so we will see how we can uh, execute uh, this agent with uh, what is the command to execute I will show you so this is the command So this is how we can start the plume uh, agent. So before going to that, so here we'll start it. So basically in bin folder, we'll have the plume agent. So this plume agent, uh, we need to, uh, if you want to start the agent, this is the command plume-ng agent. So for that, we need to specify the, what is the configuration file, uh, where we specified the source channel and sync 
that configuration file we need to specify and what is the agent name so whatever uh, we are specifying in the con folder this is the agent name so whatever name we are specifying this name only we need to uh, specify as a agent so this is the name and this is for the printing the log console Uh, whatever the if, if we write any uh, data to the this uh, this uh, port then automatically the data will be right here so for that we need to uh, use some uh, command called telnet so if we write any data from uh, if you executed uh, this one and uh, if you write data from uh, this one so whatever the data we typed from here so this data it will be reach here so this is the flow how we can uh, get the uh, data so uh, basically whatever the uh, data if you enter if you try if you connect to this port so here uh, we, we, we are we are able to type any messages so whatever the messages we are type from here so in this uh, here, this console we can see it. so currently I think I have some problem with the, this VM where I'm not able to execute this command so we'll see in next classes we'll see while explaining some other example uh, Twitter analysis so we will try to uh, I will try to show this one also okay we'll go through another example and we'll see uh, how it will be executed we'll go through another example so like this, uh, this is the one example uh, how we can read from the some port and how we can display the log. So now we will we'll see the another example how we can store the, uh, how we can uh, get the uh, logs, for, uh, logs output uh, and how we can store into HDFS. We will see that example. First I am starting the... Uh Now I am going to, what I am going to do means, whatever the uh, logs we are generating in the uh, Hadoop, so those logs we will try to read and we will uh, we'll store into HFS, we will do that one. I am going to logs folder. User, local. So here we'll have the different logs like related to name node and uh, data node. So I'm going to read. Uh, so while we are copying, while we are creating the uh, file, or while we are copying the data, or while we are removing the data, we will uh, generate the different logs. So I will try to we will try to read the that logs and how we can push into HDFS. So this is one example I want to say. So like uh, like uh, uh, this Hadoop logs. So whatever the so suppose maybe any Apache server logs, any JBoss logs. So we will generally will uh, get the logs like this. So these logs how we can read. Uh, so if you are running the application backend, it will write to the one logger files, log files. It will be write the keep on. Uh, it will write the data. So I'm trying to read the data. Now how we can, uh, whatever the uh, incoming uh, logs. So how we can read and how we can store the HDFS. I will show it. So I'm going to perform the tail up condition. So tail up what will do means if you write any uh, data, so like this, whatever the if any logs are generating, it will try to print on the console. So whatever 
we are performing this operation I am going to uh, execute as a source and so whatever the data we are uh, getting from this file incoming data so that data we I am going to push into HDFS we will see that one how we need to configure so this is the example uh, I want to explain so this is the source this is the channel this is the sync so source is the executive source so coming to here so source type is executive so exec so by using this source type so whatever the commands uh, whatever the uh, we can execute the linux commands and we can get the uh, output of that commands we can store into hws here what i am going to do means whatever the uh, new new data we are writing to the this log file i am going to i am going to read and i am going to store into hdfs i am going to change the path i think i have some other path this is the exact path uh, of the data node So user local logs are do Okay, this is valid. Okay, from this file I'm going to read. So that's why uh, what is type is the exec command, whatever the Linux command we can uh, execute here. Here I'm going to execute the Tyler. So here I'm going to specify the memory channel. channel also we are here we are configuring memory channel so whatever the channel name is there here we are configuring so this is the memory channel so then here we we need to specify the uh, sync so this is the type of the sync so what is the type here the type is HDFS so which path we need to write the that uh, logs so this is the uh, destination and this is the file type kind of data stream and write format whether we need to write in text format and any other format so here we'll have the different action, options so like how much uh, so what is the role count so after writing how many messages we need to read and batch size uh, how many uh, messages we need to write the 100 or 200 or 1000 how many records we need to write to the this one so like this we can uh, give the uh, count so like this we'll have the we can give time interval also next uh, I will show the different properties first we'll try to execute this example so this what we'll do means we'll configure source channels and sync source so what is the source type and what is the command or how we are going to read so we need to specify channel what is the uh, channel we need to specify whether it is memory or any other channel so sync so what is the type of the sync and from which channel we need to read so we need to specify that one and uh, what is the path of the uh, HDFS path we are going to write so this is the example so how much batch size and how much roll count we are going to do So we will try to copy and we will uh, execute this one. So in com folder we need to uh, create one property file. So here I am going to create one property x ec source one. And whatever the source channel sync memory is there, I am going to configure here. Okay, uh, for that one, so we need to copy 
we need to create one property or dot com folder uh, file in the this con folder so in this con folder we need to create one property file so here i, I have created the uh, this property exec source one this property file i have created so in this one what i we need to configure what is the source channel and the sync uh, that information we need to configure so here i configured source channel and sync source i'm going to read the data from the this log file i'm going to read so next channel hdfs so now i'm going to write the data to the whatever the uh, path we are specifying in hdfs so that path i'm going to write so once we configure this one we need to start the plume agent so this is the command to start the plume agent so plume agent so in the bin folder we will have the plume agent so we need to if you want to run this plume agent so we need to use this command plume ng space agent and we need to specify what are the configuration file and what is the uh, this uh, agent name we need to specify that agent name here also we specify the agent name as a sample if you want we can change the name to any other name we can change so that name here we need to change, uh, configure this is related to printing the console this command plume root logger info console so for printing the output uh, logs here we are using this one so we will start this one and what will happen we will see so here if I start so it will data will be uh, trying to uh, whatever the data it is in the uh, that log folder it will try to copy to the, this uh, exec source one so this is the command we are trying for uh, time up. So whatever the output, so this output it will try to uh, copy to the HDF. So this is the path, we will go and check that path. So ex is a source one. So here if you check this one, so here it will try to uh, write the whatever the data it is there so it will try to read uh, uh, read from the that log file so now we will try to generate some uh, data so for that i am going to execute one uh, hdfs command so i am trying to copy the uh, this data access log data just i am copying uh, uh, Presently we have the data in this access log. So I am going to generate some data logs. So when we will get the logs means if you are trying to create any uh, uh, if you are trying to create any directory or if you are trying to copy the data then uh, from local or from copying from HDFS one folder to another folder we can generate the data logs. So we will try to run that command. So I am trying to execute uh, this command. So I am trying to copy data from access log to access one log. So this file to this file I am trying to copy the data. So now if you observe. So we will we'll, uh, we'll keep on, we will get the uh, logs in the data folder, data logs. So here if you get any new changes, so those changes we will get as a, here uh, uh, we can write to flu. So 
I'm trying to generate some logs. Whenever we, I think we given roll count as a hundred. So whenever uh, we reach the uh, this number of records on that side, then only uh, it will try to uh, make the one more folder. So that's why when I am trying to generate the more logs. So instead of the roll count 500, I changed it to 50, and I started again. So if you if you trying to copy the uh, data from uh, one file to another file, I'm and I'm trying to uh, generate the data. So once we are trying to uh, we are getting the data. So then here plume we will uh, data will be gen uh, will be copied to the this one so like this whatever the data in the that log files will get the data here log files so here we can give the roll count or anything so that information we can copy to the HDFS so whatever the uh, data we are generating from the HDFS so that data uh, we can put into flu so if you keep on running so if more data we are generating uh, we will get the uh, more uh, more data we can load into room. So we'll try to remove some other folders files. Maybe we'll get more data. So I think while explain next time we'll explain the Twitter data analysis that uh, we will uh, we will check it. So how we can generate the uh, more files. So how automatically it will generate the files. We'll see uh, more files. Uh, we observe here, so we, we created one more uh, file, loom 3 file. So here we are keep on performing the operations. So if we are trying to copy data, so if the data is increasing, if it is reach the whatever the roll count or whatever the time limit, if we reach, then it will try to read the data to the uh, H uh, H uh, HDFS. We can see that one. So we can go through loom. So here one more file created, so plume 3. So here if you check inside, so whatever the this block information we are uh, getting in the, uh, the data log, data folder. So this data logs, data node logs, so that data we can, uh, whatever the incoming data we are getting, so we can copy to the result. So when we need to write 
this data to HDFS means we need to configure the uh, few settings. We need to configure any time limit, maybe five minutes or like that. Or if you want to oh, configure how many lines we need to write, that is roll count or the batch size or we need to configure those properties. So we will see more uh, those properties. So how much time uh, we need to configure HDFS role interval, role size, a uh, role count. So role count number of events uh, written to before it is rolled. So role means so before going to write the uh, HDFS, how many records we need to suppose it is reach the ten records. So we need to write the ten records to the HDFS file for new file. So number of events written file before it is plus two to the HDFS. So these are the things we need to configure. So, and time time interval also we can configure number of seconds to wait before rolling the current file. So, like this, we need to configure the uh, different parameters. We'll have the uh, some other uh, parameters also. The based on the uh, this HDFS parameters, based on this HDFS parameters only. We will uh, write the uh, we will uh, uh, HDFS files will be generated. So these are the things. So roll count and batch size. So if you reach the that uh, count uh, in the this data nodes, automatically it will try to create the uh, one more file. It will try to create. So we will try to generate more data. I think if you uh, while explaining Twitter example, I think you, you will get few uh, clear idea uh, how we can generate the more file. So here one more file is created. So like this, if you are running, uh, keep on we are running, we are generating the logs, more logs, so we will get the more uh, files here. So this is how we can uh, streaming data. So whatever, suppose if you are uh, data is generating in some web server, so how we can read the uh, continuous data, how we can put into HDFS data. So once we got the HDFS data, so suppose we, if you got the log, suppose if you have the, whatever the logs we practiced previous, so those logs we can uh, analyze. So by using comma separated or space separated, we are we can write the some rejects to get the host name or the port number. So like that, whatever the information if you want to get, we can get uh, this information and we can analyze with the either high or quick we can analyze the uh, data. So like this we can uh, by using Chrome tool. So we can keep on uh, suppose uh, if you point to uh, to configure the source channel and thing and if you start the agent so whatever the source we pointing so whatever the new data is uh, coming from that source so that will we can write to the HDFS. So this is how we can issue to uh, flow. So uh, temporary data it will be there in the channel after reaching some certain in time interval or uh, certain file size or file number of records. Uh, if we reach that limit, we can uh, automatically one new file will it will be created. So like this, we'll create the so whatever the temporary it will create one dot tmp file uh, for the current operations. So once it is uh, completed, then it will create the file like this, and it will store the that all information it will be stored. Okay, uh, this is about the. Uh, so how we can uh, use the flu? So how we can configure the source and sync uh, and channel? So like this, we'll have the different channels, uh, different sources and different things. So I will I will tell you those details. Go to the official site of the flu. So here we can get the brief uh, idea about what is flu and uh, whatever the things uh, data flow how it will be there. What is the agent? So how we can start the agent? So simple example what we uh, uh, what I explained. So 
you can read this so telnet like this it will be there i think uh, in our example and uh, today i am not able to uh, connect this one telnet so whatever the information we are typing here hello world okay so that information we can print in the console so in the uh, logger console we can print whatever the information uh, reading from the telnet so we can print it here so how we can uh, getting the log files from the hdfs log files and how we are storing to hdfs so similar way uh, we can read some uh, data from the uh, this uh, port this port we can read data and we can print into console or if you want we can print to hdfs also we can print this data so this is one example how we can achieve with the this type netcat so netcat we can whatever the data we are uh, typing from the telnet port so that port we will read and, and uh, we will read and we will either we do we can store into uh, we can display into console or we can store into hdfs also we can store it so we have the uh, before going to that one we this is the different um, uh, flows so how we can do the uh, one agent output to one agent and how we can configure different sources uh, different channels different thing these are the different flume sources till now we discussed about the netcat and the xcc so those are the one sources so whenever we needed the different sources we can use configure simply we need to configure the uh, what is the type bind means what is the ip or host name what is the port number so like this we need to configure uh, the sources so this is one uh, source so if you want to uh, one agent output we need to listen so then we need to use the avro source so we, we need to specify the what is the host name and what is the port so we need to specify this is one source avro source script source also we can use uh, this source uh, we already saw exec source whatever the unix commands output we can write it this is the example tail up exec source so what we need to do means simply we need to do uh, what is the type so we are, these are the all the predefined uh, exec source if you want to write our custom sources also we can write so mostly uh, we will use these sources uh, uh, next, uh, while explaining Twitter analysis, we will see the how we can get the data uh, data from the Twitter. So how we can configure the Twitter source, we will see that one. So these are the different source. We will have the JMS. I think if you have idea about the Java messaging system, so we can configure that one also, JMS. Like this, we will have the different sources. So whenever we need it, we need to use Twitter source also will be there. So I will give the example of this Twitter source next uh, classes. So this is these are the uh, different uh, sources like that. We'll have channels also we'll have. We have one more syslog source also will be there. We'll have TCP source, HTTP source also will be there. I think HTTP source. These are the lot of sources will be there. Whenever we need it, we need to call uh, use that sources. If you want to write our own source, we can write it. So we need to write the Java program for that implement that source. Then coming to syncs, we have the different syncs, HDFS sync. So this is the example uh, we have seen how we can write to HDFS. And these are the properties for the writing the data to the HDFS based on the different properties, time, interval, size, and a number of events. So these are the different properties. This is how we can configure the HDFS as a sync. Logger sync means instead of writing to HDFS, we can simply use the uh, we use the uh, logger as a sync. So simply we'll uh, whatever the data we are getting, we'll write as a console. We won't store anywhere. So simply we'll print as a console. For that is the logger sync. We'll have Avro sync, Tript sync. So whatever the we are read, writing to Avro sync, so we can. Uh, read it as a avro source we can read it similar like tript also we have some other file role and null sync uh, uh, we have the different things so this is one more sync hbase so instead of writing the hdfs we can write 
to HBase sync also we can write it. So directly we can write the HBase uh, tables also we can write it. So I think while uh, if, we, if we explain HBase then I think we will get a clear idea uh, why uh, how we can read to uh, what is HBase and uh, uh, how we can write the HBase. We will see uh, after explaining HBase. So this is one more uh, example. Uh, HBase is the one more example. Example thing. How, uh, where we need to write the HBase. And type we need to give the HBase. And we need to specify the uh, some other configurations like uh, HBase table name. Table name we need to give. And column family also if you want column family. So if I explain about the HBase then you will get the details about the and this HBase table and column family. You will see that one. We will have the channels like memory channel. What is the capacity of the memory we can configure. Like JDBC channel, file channel. So like this we will have the different channels. So what are the channels or what are the source or what are the things we needed. We need to uh, specify that source and corresponding properties we need to specify. And then we need to write the agent. So in single uh, configuration file we can configure the uh, multiple agents also we can run it and multiple uh, things also we can configure and multiple channels also we can configure. So like this we can whatever the uh, streaming data or whatever the continuous data is, uh, if you want to store in HFS so then we can use the flow. Okay, this is all about the uh, what is Flume and what are the components inside the Flume, how we can run the agent Flume agent, how we can, uh, we saw a simple example to HFS. So I will provide this example, uh, this uh, configuration, you can go through this one and you can try to practice. Okay, uh, thank you all.